Last time, we have introduced the two fundamental approaches to do text summarization. One is extractive, the other is abstractive. Also, we introduced a few open source libraries or in Python to do the extractive summary and abstract summary. Today, we are going to focus on how to use T5 deep learning model to do the abstractive summary. So T5 uh, stands for the text-to-text -text transfer transformer. It is a transformer-based deep learning model. Transformer and transfer learning recently has led to the state-of-art performance in the natural language processing tasks. So with T5, all NLP tasks are reframed as a, a unified text-to-text -text format, where both input and output are text strings allowing the use of the same model, loss function, and hyperparameters on any natural language processing tasks, such like machine translation, question and answering, linguistic acceptability, text similarity, sentiments analysis, text summarization, and classification. We can even apply T5 to regression tasks by training it to predict the string representation of the number instead of the number itself. So the right hand side of the diagram shows the, uh, the concept. Okay. So how T5 works? So basically, uh, we re pre training a model on a huge amount of the unlabeled uh, text data with a self supervised task that is also the unsupervised learning. Then fine tuning the model on a smaller labeled dataset, often resulting in a far better performance than training a model from scratch. So Google surveyed to decide which transfer learning technique works best and applies the insights to create the T5 model. And also Google created a new open source pre-training dataset called the C4, Colossal Clean Cloud Corpus, which is massive, diverse, and high quality, and have two orders of magnitude larger than the Wikipedia. The T5 pre-trained on the C4 achieves the state-art re result on many natural language processing benchmarks while being flexible enough to be fine-tuned to a variety of the specific downstream tasks. They even create a pub trivia challenge using the T5 model and you can try it on the website by yourself. Okay, so let's move to the hands-on notebook to see how can we easily using the such kind of T5 deep neural network model to do the uh, abstractive text summary. Okay, so again, recall the abstractive summarization is a deep learning approach. Here, the sentences in the summary are generated and not extracted from original text. Okay, so that is the deep learning generative language model approach. So this notebook will focus on the abstractive text summarization technique using the T5 model. Okay, and also if you are interested in the extractive summarization techniques, please see my previous notebook. Okay, so T5 model again, it actually is, uh, you know, analyzes like the you know the the uh, framework of the text summarization and reframing all the NLP text as an input text to output text formulation. So the T5 developers right, right? With the T5, we propose reframing all NLP tasks into a unified text-to-text -text format where the input and output are always text strings in contrast to the bot style model that only outputs either a class level or a span of the input. Our text-to-text -text framework allows us to use the same model, loss function, and hyperparameters on any NLP tasks. Also from the Hugging Face, you know, the website, they introduced the T5 as an encoder-decoder model pre-trained on a multi-task mixture of the unsupervised and the supervised task and for which each task is converted into a text string. T5 works well on a variety of NLP tasks out of box by pending a different practices to the input corresponding to each NLP task. For example, for the uh, machine translation, you just uh, add the prefix translate English to German or translate English to Italian, to uh, Spanish, or anything. For the text summarization, add the prefix summarize. Okay, string, that's it. So it also shows fine-tuned 
that is transfer learning on different tasks like the summarization, question answering, read, uh, reading comprehension using the pre-trained T5 and the text-to-text -text format often result in the state art performance. Okay. Okay. So, um, this is also some like the reference, you know, to the uh, T5 model concept and the introduction. Okay. Here also is some like a concept about what is the transfer learning. So transfer learning basically is a technique uh, where a model is first pre-trained on a data-rich task before being fine-tuned on a downstream task. You know, it has uh, emerged as a like, powerful technique in the NLP and the effectiveness of the transfer learning has given rise to a diverse approaches, methodology and practice. Okay. So now we are going to use in the hugging phase, you know, transformer implementation of the T5 model for the abstractive summary generation. So uh, a list of the pre-trained like uh, T5 models can be found here. Okay. So, and also the T5 model comes in the different size, small, base, large, three billion, 11 billion parameters. So other variations of T5 model are also available, such like the T5 version 1.1, which is an improved version of T5 with some architectural tweaks and is pre-trained on the C4 only without mixing in the supervised tasks. The MT5 is a multilingual T5 model. It's pre-trained on the C4 corpus, which includes 101 languages. Okay. Also, the byte T5 is uh, pre-trained on the byte sequence rather than the sentence piece subword token sequence. Okay. So uh, we are going to uh, select, you know, uh, some uh, news article to text, you know, the T5 models, you know, summarization ability. And we are using the two uh, different models in our experiments. One is the T5 my best model. Another is the T5, you know, the fine-tuned uh, summarization model on news. Okay. So the, here is the model card for T5 best. It has about like 220 million parameters with 12 layers, 768 hidden status, 3072 feet forward hidden status, and 12 multi head for the attention. It's pre trained on the C4 English text. Also, the T5 uh, fine tuned model on new summarization. This model was specifically trained and fine tuned with a new summarize task. And the dead set consists of like 4,500 plus news, you know, samples and contains the author name, headline, URL link of the articles, short text, complete articles, the use, you know, the gathered, you know, the summarized news from the initials and the only scripts, the news articles from Hindu, Indian Times and Garden. So time period range from the February to August 2017. So this is the model card. Uh, showing here as well okay in following we define uh, some utility function and uh, basically we call the hugging phase t5 model to generalize the abstractive summary so the input is a pre-trained you know the t5 model a t5 tokenizer and uh, some original text sample to summarize and a set of like tunable hyperparameters and the output is the abstractive summary text generated by the t5 model okay so note here, you can always try the different values for tuning the different hyperparameters to control the summary result and the length. So we are going to discuss a bit more in a minutes okay, about this. So this is just like the code, very easy. And once we design this kind of the utility functions, so we can just call it to um, print out the, you know, the uh, ex uh, executive summary straight away. For example, in our first test, for the news summary, so we load a, a news article randomly sample to summarize. This is a random sample, okay. And uh, then we call the T5 best model. So just like a couple lines code, and we get the, our nice abstractive summary result from the T5 best here, okay. And also if we call our T5 uh, model fine tune on the news summarization task, and then it generates 
uh, some sharp summary as well. Okay, so observation here we can see above many you know the padding characters can be cleaned up to produce a, a you know the tidy result. Also, you know the it looks like for some specific NLP task like the text summarization, which is the focus of our discussion here, and for a specific domain like the news summary here. The fine-tuned model for all the new summarization mode produce some bit better and more concise summary than the generic you know, T5 best model, thanks to the power of transfer learning using the specific new domain training data here. Okay. You can compare the result. Okay. Okay, so let's actually do our second test, you know, summarize the short text. We look at the same, you know. Uh, sample text uh, talking about what is the canary deployment, you know, for like for like comparison with our previous extractive summary result and technique. Okay, so this is the original text about what is the canary deployment. Then we call the T5 model again, one line code, and you can generate some summary here, and also call T5 fine tuning model on a new summary. You generate another summary, okay, straight away. So also below is the extractive summary result using the SAMI, the next rank uh, model. Please see our previous, you know, the text summary, the, the first notebook on the extractive summary, tutorial and video notebook for the details. So here is actually generated the result by using the extractive summary technique. So we can do, we can do the comparison here. So the basic, you can see, the deep learning enables the attractive summary looks a bit more natural, more coherent, and more like the human writing summary than the extractive summary, right? Okay. That is nice observation. Also, uh, here are some tips on how to produce a possibly the optimal text summary specific to your own text or your own data. Okay. So one option is fine-tuning the text summarization hyperparameters, as mentioned before. For specific NLP tasks of the text summarization, you can always use root T5 models out of box. So you say it's very straightforward to use it, it's very easy, and you can generate some uh, nice, uh, you know, the zero shot, you know, projections of the summary for your, uh, you know, text. So that is very nice. But if you want to actually to produce possibly the optimal summary result specific to your text data, so one option is actually to fine tuning the following T5 hyperparameters like the maximum length, minimum length, length penalty, repetition penalty, okay? And then you find, but the problem here is that finding the best, you know, the new values for so many hyperparameters is often sort of like dark arts in the deep learning artificial neural network study, okay? But one of the like, good practice is uh, trial and error. You can, you know, the search and experiment in, until you find something satisfying. For example, if you want to do the new summary, run such scripts as follows, okay? So I defined some such script here. You can see these are range of like the um, possible like values for each hyperparameters, and then I do some sort of like the brutal search, uh, try to find the optimal, uh, you know, the hyperparameter values here. And then you see, I just like to time it and see like the, uh, you know, the, uh, what is actually the, uh, the result of the summary generated by the each combination of the hyperparameters here. Okay, a lot of experiment has been done automatically by running this code, okay. And, uh, uh, please note here, you know, after you obtain the search experiment result above, okay, you can either manually check the, the all these kind of the summary text generated, okay, and to find which set of the, like the parameters values uh, could give you the best result. So here also do use multiple representative samples in your domain before draw, drawing any sensible conclusion. Also, if you have a good template or good summaries as target level, you can use in text summarization evaluation metrics such like the blue precision and or like Roach recall, you know, criteria to quantify the performance. Here also I indicate an excellent uh, 
uh, Stack Overflow uh, post on this. Okay. Another second option is transfer learning. Okay. So for this option is even better and fundamental solution. So for your specific domain problem and specific text data to summarize, we can and should use transfer learning and a small set of our own domain training data to train a customized T5 model optimal for our specific domain use. Basically, you just need to load a pre-trained T5 model as a good starting point, and then further train it with your domain data to fine-tune it to better summarize your specific text. For example, if we like to summarize you know, our meeting notes as it is difficult sorry, it's a different domain from news, we can collect a customer training data set or such like the input text is raw, you know, the original meeting transcripts and the output, the target text is the golden template or the, like the meeting's executive summary. Then we, will, we can just like fine tune our model using such kind of customized small data set, okay? So please forward to the following, you know, the URLs, you know, to get more information on how to do the transfer learning for the text summarization, uh, you know, the models. So this is the, the training instructions and this is the excellent repo with the running scripts to fine tuning the summarization models, okay. Here I said, you know, it's a bit like noisy, the uh, summarize you know, uh, the results above, you know, here we just create a summer clean summary by removing some special tokens and spaces here. So this is just like code, you know, after running, you know, for the what is the canary deployment? You know, our T5 models, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, fine tuning on the new summary, generate some nice, you know, the summary. Okay, here as well, okay. Okay, so let's run our, you know, the third test, which is actually summarize the long text, you know. Here, I'm going to use in the Alice Adventures in Wonderland story as a test sample, okay. So this is the Wikipedia for the Ennis uh, Adventures in one land. You can see for the story plot is a lot of text here, yeah, a lot of text, okay? So we are going to summarize it using our T5 model, okay? You can see the, the plot part is a contain like 5,000 plus characters, okay? Uh, a young girl named Ennis is bored by the riverbank and blah, blah, okay? So that calls the T5 based model, okay? So this is the a summary result generated by the T5 best model. This is the summary result generated by the T5 model fine tuning on the new summary. Okay. And also here, I'm going to try a third model, which is, uh, you know, the fine tuned T5 model specialized in summarize long text and get a spark nose SQL summary of arbitrary topics. Okay. That's very nice. And it, it has the normally it's generalized quite uh, reasonably well to any academic uh, and the narrative text, okay? So th this is uh, is the reference and some simple example use case on the uh, automatic speech recognition, okay? First of all, you have to install and or update your transformer packages, okay? Before running the notebook. And then you call this simple lines of code, okay? And uh, um, call this special like the fine tuning T5 model on long text summarization. And here we got the result, okay? You can see, look like this model pro produces some like quite comprehensive and sharp exact summary about uh, the story of the Alice adventure in Wonderland, okay? So here it is, comes to our uh, summary about the text summarization, okay? So again, here we see like the fine tuning T5 model specialized in the summarizing the long text gives a bit better performance than the best T5 model or the model fine tuned to other domains such like the new summary, okay? So in our data science, in a sense, no one size fits all, okay? So we always have to train and fine tune a model to choose the best possible performance in a specific domain before the AGI, artificial general intelligence is coming, which is uh, another topic we can discuss a bit later, okay. For the text summarization, the deep learning based abstractive summary techniques often achieve the state of art performance instead of the traditional extractive summary techniques, okay. So 
if you are not sure you know, which tax summarization tools or technique to use for your specific domain tax data, always first try those out of box abstractive summarization models and you will have a good chance of obtaining some good result with speed and accuracy. Okay. So last but not least, just subscribe to this channel to keep updated on the latest AI technology trends topics, download a copy of the PPT and the hands-on notebook, plus many free resources on data science. And thank you, hope you learned something today and let's talk next time. Bye.